We all learned about it in high school, uh, 1776, July 4th. July 4th is the day we know well. The Declaration of Independence was signed, yeah. of course, but the story of what led up to that is getting an update on stage. Uh, so the touring company of the musical 1776 began a two week run in Denver this week. But this is not the original 1969 Broadway version, which had an all white male cast playing our all white European male founding fathers. Uh, the actors in this show, all of them are women, non-binary and transgender. It took me aback a little bit because I realized, oh, wait, every single person that's in this room was not thought of in the room when the declaration was written. You toured this during Black History Month. You've toured this now during Women's History Month. Yes. What do you think our country might have been had our founders been a more diverse group? Oh, I think <laughs> we would have been a little bit farther along, certainly, than yeah. where we are now. Yeah, this, this show definitely makes you think a lot. It kind of takes you out of yourself for a minute and then you are drawn right back in and you forget that there are even uh, women on stage mm. there. Uh, so for those of you like me who do know the original, it is the same songs, but I think, yeah. it, I think it really helps to know the original. There is a movie you can, you can check out. But a fun fact, Lin-Manuel Miranda is a mm -hmm. huge fan of 1776 and was inspired by it when he created Hamilton. So there are some references from 1776 okay. in Hamilton, actually. Yeah, yeah. you can see the, the similarities mm -hmm. there. Yeah. yeah.